and good evening and welcome to the Modern Mystic Radio Show. Uh, my name is Sarah, I'm your host. I'm just going to remind you very, very quickly how to contact me and a little bit about me as well. So I'm a working psychic, professional psychic, have been for over 27 years. Um, started off in my childhood actually. Um, that's when I had my first psychic experiences. Um, when I was 17 I entered the whole world of working professionally as a psychic. Now if you do want to get hold of me uh, the easiest way is through my website which is www.modern-mystic.co.uk um, or you can contact me through Facebook um, under Modern Mystic and also under Mystic Sarah which is my name for uh, my Psychic Today channel um, that I work on so on Sky TV so I do that here in the UK so you can contact me in any of those ways if you would like to book a private reading okay so what I want to talk today about a little bit I touched on it um, last week and I kind of want to go from the energy of last year 2017 which I know a lot of you don't even want to think about, and also the energy what we're coming into um, in 2018, because I think it's going to be a very, very interesting year. So let's just touch back on 2017 first. Um, what I found from my clients, um, and also my personal experiences as well, is the tail end of 2017 seemed to be incredibly incredibly traumatic for many people what i kind of get with it is you know a huge roller coaster of emotions um coming out and also a huge karmic clearing as well um all spontaneous and some of which like i said has been very very traumatic for some people and Obviously, you know, when these things happen, you know, we're digging really deep, deep, deep emotions are coming out, maybe from, you know, many, many years ago, maybe from our childhood, maybe even from previous lives, but it's all starting to come out now. Now, um, a lot of people are still going through the, that roller coaster. It is beginning to settle as we step into 2018. So if we look at 2017, that's all about the self. It's all about focusing on you, um, and it was a bit of a solo year as well. So the spotlight really being on you and your own karmic journey, which is why there has been a really, really strong um, strong sort of cleansing in that respect. So if we look at the year that we're coming into, we are into now, 2018, it's going to be quite an interesting one. So um, if we actually add up the numbers of 2018, you know, the universal number is 11. OK, so we've got an 11 and if we knock that down even more, it's two. So we've got 11 and a two year. So 11 talks about spiritual illumination, digging deep within our spirituality. You know, expect signs and synchronicities from the universe. If you see 11, 11, pay attention. Big transformations are expected as well as a turning point in one's life. Self-realisation and also self-actualisation are prominent here too. Um, a master number normally demands that we expand and evolve, so it's going to be quite an interesting time for us. Um, if we look at the number two, that relates to relationships, partnerships, harmony and home. Um, and being the soulmate psychic, I anticipate this is going to be a massive, massive year for soulmates and twin flames. Um, what I feel here, there are going to be new connections being forged, um, as well as um, existing connections, um, reconnecting, cleansing and clearing and finally making the journey. Um, with this combination... Um, I expect things to really, really take off. Um, so get ready. I would also say that this year was an excellent year to start any kind of new venture, any new project, career, relationship, or even a new home. It's a great time for new beginnings. So what can we do during the transition period? Okay, so a lot of people are still reeling from last year. What can we do to kind of help and heal that? Okay, so what I feel 
and what I recommend and what I'm actually doing through this process as well is really concentrating on the heart chakra element and going deep within that and allowing those deep, deep emotions to come to the surface, but more importantly, allowing them to or letting go of them with love. I feel like that's very, very important. But as you do that, start cultivating a feeling of self-love as well so you're not necessarily losing anything you're just filling it back up but we're filling it back up with a far more positive energy and also while you're doing this focus on your connection with the universe because we have this master number i feel here that we are going to be far more connected to the universe than we normally are so if something is presenting in your life as leaving your life let it just go and at the same time totally totally be open to receive i'm anticipating that the transition period between things leaving our lives and new things starting um, is actually going to be quite quick you know sometimes we find ourselves in transition if we look at relationships, for instance, you know, we can have one relationship end and another one doesn't come along until, you know, a few years later. I don't see that as, as actually presenting this year. I feel like once you've had the courage to let things go, I feel that things are actually going to come in in very, very quick succession, which is great news. It's got to be good news, hasn't it? OK, so let me just... Um, have a quick look here because I feel I think we've got a call coming through um, but before I go on to that um, because of the master 11 spiritual because of the master 11 spiritual illumination aspect I would also anticipate sudden shifts as well and opportunities coming in when you least expect it without necessarily any effort from yourselves once your heart and karma are clear you'll find that the universe is actually on your side. The most important element to this is that no matter what happens, to follow your heart this year without fear. Okay, so let's go straight on to a call and let's just see who we have here. Okay, so we have Sonia in Columbus, Ohio. Is, oh, is Sonia here? Hi, Sonia. Yes. Hi, how are you this evening? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, do you have a question for me? I actually have several questions, but I'll try to um, <laughs> condense it. <laughs> um, I am currently unhappy at uh, my job. Is, do you foresee a new job or career this year? Okay, let me just have a look and see what I get for you. Um Okay, so I do feel like there is um, something new coming in. I'm just going to have a look at the cards as well as I do that. Okay, right. Wow, this is looking pretty good. Right, I want to kind of step forward um, to around sort of late February, early March here, because this is where I feel like I've got a big point of change. Um, at the moment, you're kind of feeling as though you're kind of trapped in your situation. You're kind of stuck in your in, in, in your position, in your job. And what I feel here with this is, um, you know, I feel like you have given it the benefit of the doubt. I feel like you've given it the benefit of time. Um, but what I also feel here is I'm, I'm not actually necessarily seeing any dramatic change in exactly where you are at the moment. So looking for a new position is absolutely the right thing to do. Um, what I like about your cards and what I like about what I'm feeling from you is what's actually coming forward is um, a wonderful, what I feel a really, really great opportunity. Um, it, this feels, it's coming across as a bit of a dream job here. So your ideal position, I feel, is going to be presented itself um, I do feel that um, this is the, going to be the year where you feel like you're actually making movements forwards because if I look at your pres present position you know it feels like you've been standing still if I look at that job it feels like you've been standing still for um, for quite some time here um, and it also feels like you're stifled I get that feeling of um, um, almost like emptiness and apathy as, as you kind of go into your job and nothing seems to be shifting it. I actually feel here the time 
that you have got left in your present position is is not very long. And what I'm seeing here, I'm, I am seeing like a very, very quick, you know, swap over point. So it's not as though I feel like this job is going to, to fall by the wayside or you're going to lose it. I feel like you're going to jump from this job straight into another one. So this feels like it's very much under your control or in your control. Um, and I feel okay. here that uh, March is going to be the time where you actually make that, that point of change. Okay. And okay. what about I, I'm wanting to purchase a home this year. Will that be possible? Okay. Let me just have a look here. Well, with this new job that I've got for you, I feel if I look at the financial aspect of it, um, that's looking a lot more promising for you. Um, let me just see what I get around the home. Um, okay. See, I, I feel everything's kind of coming together here around June time for you. Um, so I want to say early summer is where I feel like I've got um, I've got a, you know a new home here for you. There's many many changes coming in for you this year. I feel like it's going to be a very positive year. Um, but I, how can I put it? It feels as though um, as you get closer to each point in time, as you travel through the months of the year, um, I feel like more and more is actually going to sort of, how can I put it, um, um, how can I put it, present itself on your pathway, if that makes sense. OK, so you will know the right direction to go. and You will know the right time to make those changes. But I feel if I'm looking at those a big life change, such as a house move, I feel like that's coming in around June time for you. OK, great. OK. Ever um, it, in being in business for myself. Can you say that again? Do you ever see me being in business for myself, owning my own business? I guess right, I'm at say. the point I don't no longer want to work for someone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I feel I do feel like your next position is is an important position um, that you, okay. you kind of take. So I feel like that is almost like I kind of get you doing that. I, I, I keep on being told here this is after the house move. It's after okay. the house move. So I feel that you will... Um, start your own business but I feel like there is like I said we've got quite a few changes coming in here for you um what I'm sort of kind of struggling with here is whether it's falling into this year or whether it's falling into next year okay so if I look at the timing of this of where you feel like you are ready to take that step which I feel that you'll do mm -hmm. um I, I want to say I feel like it's probably falling sort of either later on in the year or the beginning of next. Um, I still feel that there are still many ideas and um, how can I put it? That vision is not properly um, formulated just yet. OK. OK. Um, as we're as we're in January, um, what I want to say here, I mean, have you ever heard of vision boards? Mm, vision boards? Yeah. I've seen something on Facebook regarding that. I don't know what it is exactly. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we start putting our intentions, um, literally in a visual form, cutting out bits of, how can I put it, bits of, um, uh, you know, pictures, things like that, you know, um, and actually putting them on the board in a very visual way um, to kind of attract those things into our lives. So if you think about... Um, perhaps you know what you want that business to be what you want it to look like what you want it to give you um, start placing images representing those ideas onto your okay. vision board and place it somewhere that um, place it somewhere that you're going to see it you know on a, on a regular basis um, and you can do that you know even you know picture your new home what, what you want it to, to look like or maybe even picture a key to a new home just just have a look at what you can kind of get that visually represents what you desire this year because I feel like I said I'm seeing lots of changes here for you um, and it's almost like I get you very much in the driving seat of where you want those changes to take place okay what kind of what kind of position do you see me in around March okay like what let type me of profession have, let me just have a look and see if I can 
get anything from there. Um, okay. Right, so let me just have a look and see what I get with this. See, this feels like... Um, Oh, this does feel like I'm definitely seeing you office based. OK, and I feel like this is a position I, I, I want to say there is an element of management with it. OK, OK, um, it's not necessarily showing me the industry, but what I do feel is it's quite a formal industry. OK, so it's quite a professional industry. OK, so I feel that what is uh, it's either, I don't know, um, financial or something like that. I just get the element of formality around it. Okay. Um, OK, so keep your eyes open. But what I'm being shown with this, it's almost like a combination um, or emerging of um, some of your previous roles all brought into okay. one. OK. OK. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Um, Wonderful. Just one last question. Will I ever financially okay. be stable? Because I feel like I'm living from check to check and there's like, you know, there's not enough money there. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Well, like I said, this, this new role actually offers you um, more in that respect. Um, okay. Let's just see what we've got. Oh, this is good. This is good. Um, right. Let's just see what we have for you. Um, right. So what I get here with this is um, how come it, this this situation that you are in is not necessarily going to um, resolve itself overnight. You know what I'm being shown here are stepping stones towards that. Obviously, the first stepping stone that I get here is that new position. Okay, okay. that I feel is going to um, it, it it creates. Um, um, uh, how can I put it, a surplus. It feels like it's creating a surplus, which is going to allow you to start pulling everything together. I'm also being told around six months here for you of steady progress. I also feel here, you know, there are, this year is going to be quite lucky for you. So I feel that um, you know, there is going to be extra, on, on top of that, there is going to be extra coming to you, okay? When we're looking at um, what I'm being shown here is within six months, I feel like you are a lot more stable, you know, and you know okay. where you are and everything. Do, how can I put it? It feels like you're not no longer worrying about that so much. Does that make sense okay. to you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank no you very much for coming through. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. OK, I'm going to go straight on to my next call. And we have Debbie from Motherwell in, in Scotland. Hi, Debbie. Are you there? Are you there, Debbie? Hi, Debbie. Hi. Hi, sorry. I could hardly hear you. Um, can you hear me OK? OK, I think the line is slightly bad, but we will see how we go with this. Um, welcome on to the show. Do you have a question for me? Yeah, it's just as we see it and get to what it happened by life. I feel I'm just having no direction just now. I want to put me down. Can you repeat that? Sorry, the line was quite bad. Can you tell me anything that's happening right now? The lights and tatters. Oh, you're going to have to repeat that for me one more time. I'll see if I can see if I can get that. Um, the line is quite difficult to to actually catch what you're saying. Can you tell me anything about my life? Okay. Okay. So you just would like a general kind of overview, is that right? Okay. Right, so let me just have a quick look and see what I get for you. Right. Okay, so let's just see what we've got for you. All right, I'm just going to pull out some cards for you. Um, and let's just see what we have. Um, 
Right, OK, so I just want to step back here over. I want to go back over the last couple of years here with you um, because I feel that um, there seems to be quite, how can I put it, so, so much emotion um, within those last couple of years. I feel as though um, not only has that been, you know, in, incredibly stressful, I get stress around yourself and also around others you know, close family members around you as well. There's also a sense of um, having to heal as well, having to heal from um, some really difficult situations. And what I kind of get here is the element of loss um, coming in over those last two years. What I feel is actually coming up for you, particularly when I'm looking at, I feel like the focus initially, if I look at this year for you, is going to be around... Um, home and family there's something here about um, um, almost like having to settle um, is it having to settle like, like either a dispute or a falling out there's um, a lot of tense emotions or have been a lot of tense emotions around you and also the, the um, others around you what I do feel here what I'm being shown here is to kind of step back from the situation and start concentrating on you because I feel as this year progresses for you the first thing I'm kind of getting here um, and that's coming in very very strongly is talking about work it's also talking about finances so there's something actually coming it's on its way to you in relation to that um, now I'm also being shown here um, issues around um, Issue, issues around a relationship or a, like a past relationship. Um, and I feel here, what I'm being shown here is for you to follow your intuition in, in terms of that. I feel like there is going to be a big shift when I'm looking at relationships here with you. Um, and what I want to say with this is, you know, this feels as though I'm getting the word, re, you know, resolved kind of comes in which to me is saying that I get, I'm getting far more harmony actually stepping into your life as I look at um, you know this year for you last couple of years I feel have been there's like I said there's dispute there's, there's dispute there's quarrels there's that kind of thing that kind of energy kind of sweeping into it um, but the, I want to say for, certainly for this year com uh, coming in or this year that we're in now um, it's, it's about stabilisation for you um, and also harmony coming in as well. I do want to say here, the major step forward for you is around, I actually feel like it's around the financial aspect, you know, and this might be, um, how can I put it, something that's actually alleviating some of the tension that I feel that has been around you. Um, I'm being drawn here towards anything after... Um, the third month, anything after March onwards, I feel is is actually very very positive for you. Do you have another question? Is there anything you would like to add or ask? Can you just repeat that again? Sorry, the the line is a bit echoey. My children. Right, let me have a look at that for you. See, so I get all the energies around home, um, home and family for you. Um, and like I said, I've got this issue of resolved as well. Uh, let's just see what I get here for this. Okay. Bear with me, I'm just pulling some cards on this. Um, and let's just see what I get with this. Okay. Um, I am getting... I get a positive judgment around this. Um, I keep on getting the number two really, really strongly with you. Um... And I feel like this is relating to February um, for you. And what I'm being shown here with this, it, it feels like 
um, you know, there is going to be, um, you, you know, formal legal kind of action around this, okay? But what I am seeing is a positive judgment and being able to move forwards and because at the moment it feels like you're kind of stuck because you, you this is this is all pending. I get the element of unfairness around it as well. Okay. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you know that there has been no responsibility on your part, but I feel like the there there has been an unfair decision that you're trying to resolve. Now I feel here I'm getting shown here a positive judgment. Um, coming in around the month of February for you. Also get good news coming in. It does feel, I have to say, you know, it does feel like you have to be really, really strong, you know, with this journey, okay? But I do feel that you are going to be able to be in the position where you can move forward as a, as a, as a group, as a, uh, as a um, family, um, I get I get celebrations around this as well, and the opportunity to um, to start again. You know, so I feel that when you have your children back with you, um, it will it will be completely different to to what it was before. Um, but I feel here that you know there's a bit of a fight, there's a little bit of a battle to get there. Um, but I feel like you're. You, you need to continue with this. Does that make sense? Because the outcome for you is actually going to be very good, regardless of what has been said prior. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah? yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wonderful. So thank you so much for coming through. Um, it's nearly the end of my show, so I'm going to have to say goodbye for now. Um, so just to remind you, if you want to get through to me, um, you can on my website, which is www.modern-mystic.co.uk or my Facebook page, which is Modern Mystic or Mystic Sarah. Um, and just to remind you that I do do a free live psychic session um, every week as well. So keep your eye open for that if you want to join in. OK, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to wish you lots of love and light and I shall see you the same time next week.